the anatomy of the anal canal. This is 4 centimeters long or 1.5 inches and passes downward and backward from the rectal ampulla to the anus. Posteriorly, it's related to the anococcygeal body, which is a mass of fibrous tissue lying between the anal canal and the coccyx, and laterally is the ischiorectal fossae on both sides. Anteriorly, in a man, it is related to the perineal body, the urogenital diaphragm, the membranous part of the urethra, and the bulb of the penis, while in the female, it's related to the perineal body, the urogenital diaphragm, and the lower part of the vagina anteriorly. It has two sphincters, an internal and external sphincter. The internal is not under voluntary control, but the external is. The internal sphincter is formed from a thickening of the smooth muscle of the circular coat at the upper end of the anal canal, while the external sphincter is voluntary and has three parts, subcutaneous, superficial and deep parts. The puborectalis fibers of the levator ani of the two sides form a sling which is attached in front to the pubic bones and passes around the junction of the rectum and the anal canal, pulling the two forward in an acute angle. The internal sphincter, the deep part of the external sphincter and the puborectalis muscles form a distinct ring called the anorectal ring and this is the most important thing to prevent a rectal prolapse. Ischioanal fossae or the ischiorectal fossa. This is a wedge-shaped space located on each side of the anal canal. The base of the wedge is the skin. The upper edge of the wedge is the junction of the medial and the lateral walls. The medial wall of the wedge is a sloping levator ni muscle and the anal canal, and the lateral wall of the wedge is the lower part of the obturator internus muscle covered with the pelvic fascia. It's filled with dense fat and it supports the anal canal and allows it to distend during defecation. The pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels are embedded in the pudendal canal, which is on the lateral wall of the ischioanal fossa. The inferior rectal vessels and nerve cross the fossa and reach the anal canal. There are some differences between the lower and the upper half of the anal canal. The lower half of the anal canal, the mucous membrane is derived from ectoderm and therefore it's lined by stratified squamous epithelium and there are no anal columns. The nerve supply is from the inferior rectal nerve and therefore it's sensitive to pain, touch, temperature and pressure. Its arterial supply is the inferior rectal artery which is a branch of the internal pudendal artery. The venous drainage is from the inferior rectal vein a tributary of the internal pudendal vein which drains into the internal iliac vein which is systemic and not the portal circulation. The lymph drainage is to the superficial inguinal nodes. The upper half of the anal canal, the mucous membrane is derived from the ectoderm, sorry, the endoderm, lined by columnar epithelium and there are anal columns or folds of mucosa which are joined at the bottom by the semicircular folds called anal valves. The nerve supply is through the hypogastric plexus and therefore it's sensitive only to stretch. The arterial supply is from the superior rectal artery, a branch of the inferior mesenteric artery. The venous drainage is to the superior rectal vein, which is a tributary of the inferior mesenteric vein, which drains finally into the portal vein. The lymphatic drainage is into the inferior mesenteric nodes.